Hey everyone, in this lesson we're going to be going over what virtual reality is and a bit over um, exactly how we can use it in Unity and how it is beneficial to be using it inside of Unity as well. So, first of all, what exactly is virtual reality? Well, what you're seeing here is the mixed reality spectrum. Now, it goes from the real world on the left all the way over to virtual reality on the right. And in between, we have a few things. First of all, towards the left, we have augmented reality, and this is normally the technology you'd see in things such as mobile devices where uh, virtual objects are placed in the real world. Think Pokemon Go or any sort of application that uh, puts stuff in the world such as furniture apps, uh, measuring apps, or even educational apps. And then there is augmented virtuality. Now, this is a lot less common than AR and VR, and what this does is this places real world objects in the virtual world. And then over on the right hand side we have virtual reality which is basically an entirely virtual world. That is what you can see and that is what you hear. Okay, so let's go over now a list of the VR devices and these are the VR devices that we're going to be uh, looking at inside of this course. So first up we have the Oculus devices. Now, Oculus is one of the leading companies in the VR market, and with their devices, we first of all have the Oculus Rift. This is, you could say, their flagship device. Um, there is actually the Oculus Rift and the Oculus Rift S. Um, they do differ in a few separate ways in how the tracking works, but overall, the devices work in the same way. They have six degrees of freedom, which allow them to move in both rotational and positional axes. So we can move around, look around, we can move our hands around, look at them, and so on. So it's pretty immersive technology with the Oculus Rift. Then we have the Oculus Quest, which is pretty much the same as the Oculus Rift, although the Oculus Quest relies on an inbuilt computer rather than uh, one that you would plug your headset into. So this is entirely wireless and it works off the device inside of the headset. And then there is the Oculus Go, which is more of a casual VR device. This is mainly used for uh, light gaming and uh, media consumption. And this is, like the Oculus Quest, uh, has, it has a computer built into the headset, but this doesn't have uh, positional tracking or uh, multi-hand controllers. It only has one hand controller, which only tracks in the rotational space. So after we have Oculus, we then have the Valve headsets. And first up, we have the HTC Vive. Now this is a headset that was made in partnership with HTC, so that's why their name is in the title as well. So the HTC Vive uh, could be compared uh, very similarly to the Oculus Rift, as it has it's six degrees of freedom, you can move around, you can look around, and it has a similar tracking uh, system in place. Then we have the Valve Index, and this is uh, the Valve's most recent headset. Um, again, this has six degrees of freedom, you have your controllers, although this headset now has a higher resolution, higher refresh rate, uh, additional features, and some brand new controllers which actually are sensitive to each finger, so it can track each finger on the on the hand controller. Okay, and finally after Valve, we have Microsoft, who has their Windows Mixed Reality headset. And the Mixed Reality headset, uh, it could be compared to the Oculus Rift S, as it has similar technology in the way it works, as it has the tracking built into the headset rather than re requiring outside sources. And this is also PC powered. So, we got these devices, and these are the ones that we'll be looking at during this course. I'll be showing you how you can uh, build your Unity project to work on these devices, and even how to run some of them inside of the editor. And actually, before we go on, I do want to note that we won't actually uh, specifically go over the Valve Index, as um, the process of building and setting up Unity to work with the Valve Index is the exact same as the HTC Vive, so you could kind of put those into a bundle for themselves. Alright, now that we've gone over that, let's go over the various VR storefronts. And there are three main ones. We have the Steam Store, we have the Oculus Store, and we have the Microsoft Store. Now, each of these support a number of different headsets, um, so it is good to know which store you might want to publish on. First up, we have the Steam Store, which probably has the most diverse uh, amount of headsets that it can accept and that you can run on it. Uh, you have the HTC Vive, the Valve Index, the Oculus Rift, and the Windows Mixed Reality headset. And this is due to Steam having their open VR technology, which allows uh, developers to pretty much build to any sort of these devices 
um, that can then be played on Steam. So all games that are developed on the OpenVR platform, on the OpenVR uh, API, can actually support all these devices listed right here. Then on the Oculus Store, these are of course limited to limited to just the Oculus app, so we have the Rift, the Quest, and the Go. And finally, the Microsoft Store is limited to just the Microsoft Reality headset. Okay, so these are the various storefronts. Um, next up, we have developing for VR. Now, we're going to be developing our VR application inside of Unity, and I'll show you why Unity is probably the best platform to develop your VR application. So, let's just say you wanted to make an application for all the different headsets. Let's just say you had a VR app and you wanted to develop with each one. Well, the thing with that is that not all these devices um, necessarily support each other. So with the Oculus Rift, you'd, you'd have to use the Oculus SDK um, to then create an Oculus Rift app. Then with the Vive, you'd have to use the Valve um, Vive SDK to develop that. And then the Windows MR, you'd have to then use the Windows SDK to develop a Windows MR application. But the good thing about Unity is that we don't have to worry about specific devices. We're not developing, let's just say we're in Unity and we want to track hand controls. We don't have to go, okay, um, let's make sure we're tracking the Valve controllers, let's make sure we're tracking the Rift controllers, and so on and so forth. We don't have to do any of that. We just have to track VR controllers because Unity does all of this behind the scenes um, in the Unity XR API. Because in Unity, we are not developing for a specific platform or a specific list of platforms necessarily. We are just developing for VR. And with this in mind, Unity can then uh, build an application that can then be ran on pretty much every headset uh, that supports head tracking, head rotation, and uh, stuff like that. Now, there are the individual SDKs that we can still implement if we do want to access uh, more in-depth features for each of these platforms. For the Oculus Rift, you might want to access uh, player avatars. In that case, you would then have to install the Oculus SDK and access it from there. But if you just want the basics of being able to look around, move around, uh, use your controls and interact with the buttons and things in the VR world, then you can do that entirely using the Unity uh, XR API, which is what we're going to be doing in this course uh, with the Zenva VR library. And the Zenva VR library is a uh, VR library that was made here at Zenva using the Unity XR API. So we'll be going through that, we'll be downloading it, uh, and then pretty much from there, we'll just be doing drag and drop components and prefabs to quickly get together a VR application that we can run on our specific device. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next lesson where we start to actually develop our VR project.